It's 1991, and the world is introduced to a new TV show. It's about two brothers with the same name. Pete and Pete was an absurdist, surreal show shot in a very ordinary looking suburb in New Jersey. We're here in the site of the old Pete and Pete house from season two. I'm Michael Morona and I played Big Pete. And I'm Danny Tamberelli and I play Little Pete. We haven't been here in 20 plus years and it's, it's kind of a time machine. This typical New Jersey house was the backdrop for the adventures of the eccentric Wrigley family. Petunia was my beloved tattoo. Dance, senorita, dance. No one knows how I got it at age seven. And I believe when we did the shorts, it was on this arm. And then at some point, it switched to this arm. I had to start showering with saran wrap on my arm during the week because they didn't want to have to keep touching it up and, and making it better. So I had a stinky right arm for three seasons. One of the more bizarre parts of the show was Artie, a reoccurring character who served as a constant reminder to viewers that you can't always ask for an explanation. I believe that Artie was a figment of our imaginations, but he was a hell of a hallucination because even the adults believed that he was there. <laughs> True. <laughs> Artie is, of course, the strongest man in the world. Yeah! Artie, the strongest man! Oh, so he moved the foundation of our house. An inch to the left. He ran very fast. He's eaten um, several uh, origami stars that were headed for his head. I mean, who wouldn't want to have a personal superhero with them at all times as your best friend? I would. I had it. Artie, the strongest man in the world! We are not brothers biologically. We are fake TV brothers. Food poisoning? That's a triple Yui. Unusual, unpredictable, undetectable. I didn't hang out with Dan much in the years immediately following Pete and Pete. We are we are brothers in a in a weird way. Spiritual. We have a spiritual are. bond. We do a podcast together. That's an important thing. Dan and I record a podcast called The Adventures of Danny and Mike. So we see each other quite often, and boy, are we still fake TV brothers. Thank you.